My palate is so developed. I cannot get over how like sophisticated your palate is. My palate's like a really hot. You are amazing. He's mm. amazing. This is my take on a traditional Persian egg dish called kuku sabji. It's just this gorgeous frittata basically that is just loaded with tons of herbs. I'm gonna go for the big pan here because we're using, we're making a frittata with 12 eggs, okay? So it's a big boy. It serves six. You could probably serve more if you do smaller portions or less if you want to eat a lot, which usually happens in my home. It calls for one medium onion. These are pretty small, so I'm just gonna use two small yellow onions. Before you start everything, turn on your oven to 350 degrees because we finished this frittata in the oven. Just wanna do a nice little chop on these onions. Just try and make them all around the same size so that they cook evenly. So now I'm gonna take the pan, I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna put some fat down. I'm using olive oil. Another thing about being pregnant, I'm just like a sweat ball. Okay, sauteing these onions, they're getting beautiful and translucent and we're making them extra beautiful and sweet. I seasoned a little bit with salt before, but I'm gonna actually put like a nice amount in here. We have to make sure this is seasoned really, really nicely. I'm adding in coriander, which has a beautiful citrusy, earthy flavor. I'm adding in some turmeric and cumin, uh, and it smells amazing. I'm gonna grate some garlic in. This garlic, I'm just gonna microplane it right into the onions. And if it breaks a little bit and gets really weird like that, ignore it. Put it off to the side and just grate it piece by piece, like me. So we have one cup of freshly chopped dill. I like to roll it into a really, really tight ball and then take my knife and just run through it. I'm gonna turn off the onions right now, put them to the side, because they're done cooking and they're ready for the eggs. And then I, I do the exact same thing with the parsley as I do with the dill. Cuckoo sabji is just such a beautiful dish. Um, I love it because it feeds a crowd and it's so easy to put together. Um, and it's just, layered with so many flavors and all these herbs just bring so much life to the dish. Now this is like my dad. In a nutshell, this is my dad in a nutshell. He loves a cracked walnut. Can I tell you something? Coming back here and eating like freshly cracked walnuts, there's a huge difference. They're so good. I'm sweating like a champion. So I'm just going to chop this, these walnuts that I just cracked. Now we're gonna crack 12 eggs, okay? I like to put heavy cream in to this dish. I just love the way heavy cream really lightens and aerates eggs. Break those yolks, salt, pepper. So just whisk in the cream. And then what I'm gonna do now is just dump everything in. So look at the sauteed onions with the garlic. We have coriander, cumin, turmeric. And now we're adding in all of those herbs. That beautiful, sweet onion mixture. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix it in slowly. Be careful so things don't fly all over the place because there's a lot in here. We're gonna cook it a little bit here and then we're gonna transfer it to the oven to finish cooking. I'm gonna add in a couple tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil right on top of where the onions were. That's totally cool. You don't need to clean the pan. You can literally serve it in the pan on the table. I'm very rustic like that and I love taking things right from the stove and just putting it on, you know, the table and just letting your guests like go crazy on it. And that's also important to use uh, a big pan, obviously, because there's a lot in here. Look how pretty, look how gorgeous that is. The saltiness you get from this feta. And I'm not gonna even cut it, I'm gonna crumble it. So once I start seeing it get nice and firm around the sides, I take the feta and I start crumbling it on top. The sides have like kind of crisped up a little bit. So we're putting it into the preheated 350 degree oven. I'm just gonna turn off the stove and carefully place this inside, okay? So this is pretty heavy. Make sure you don't have kids running around the kitchen or anything going on. And then just take this and transfer this 
into the oven. And then clean up and get your lemony yogurt ready and your gorgeous red schug ready, which is that amazing hot Yemen sauce. I have a red schug in my book. And you eat it with that tangy yogurt and that hot sauce and it's Shooting pregnant is like a thing, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Like, I don't really care what I look like on camera until I get pregnant, and I'm like, how does this look? You know when it's ready when you uh, grab the pan and you do this a little shaky shaky, and there's a little shake in the center, that's when it's done, okay? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Obviously be careful because you don't want to damage your nonstick if you just do it the way I'm doing it. I have some of my red schug, beautiful hot sauce. Um, if you don't have schug on hand, you can use any kind of hot sauce that you have, if only especially if you like it spicy. If not, you can totally leave it out. I have some yogurt, Greek yogurt with some fresh lemon juice, salt, spread it out. I'm gonna do a little drizzle of the schug. This is free dough. So I made sure there was a lot of hot sauce. He loves it. Look at this. Do you see that? I see that. Look at that. So this is my version of a traditional Persian dish called kuku sabji. Kuku sabji? Uh, and it's a beautifully it. like herby egg dish. Mm. Isn't it beautiful? Mm. What do you think of those spices? Mm. Dill. Mm. Mm. Feta, mm. egg, crunchy, bottom. How good is the feta in there with the dill? Oh, and that yogurt. I know. Oh, really? Well, you get the spiciness mm. and then the tanginess. There's a lot going on here. Oh, texture inside. Is there like pine nuts or something in there? There's walnuts. Guys. Guys. Mm. You're like a professional. Mm. Okay, you want another slice? Yes, please. Okay. Well, good because we've got a lot. Here, take the slice that was ugly. Mm. That's the first slice. Mm. Take the first slice that didn't look good. It's my ugly slice. 